Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to do an updated musk video for you. I have been on just a musk kick lately and I've just kind of been going crazy for all different types of musk fragrances. Um, it's really what I've been attracted to, what I've been doing the most research about. Um, what I'm looking at the most right now are just musks and any kind of musk. It could be a clean musk, like a, a skin musk, a gourmand musk. I'm just into musks and I feel like a lot of houses right now are getting really, really creative with musks as well, um, which is really exciting for me. So anyway, somebody asked me to do an update on musk video, and so here we are. Um, I don't have all of my perfumes pulled out right now though. I do have a lot of perfumes sitting in bins, so I am sure that there are gonna be fragrances missing from this video. Um, but I still have plenty to do a whole video on, so I'm gonna jump right in. I'm going to start with a couple of philosophy fragrances. So the first one I'm gonna start with is this one here. This is the original Amazing Grace, and this is a beautiful, clean, warm, skin kind of musk. This reminds me of clean, dry towels that just came out of the laundry. It reminds me of warm, clean skin, and I adore this fragrance. Um, some people feel like this smells mature. I don't feel like it smells mature at all. I just feel like it smells incredibly warm and clean. I can see where the maturity comes in, or I can see where people feel like it smells mature but I guess I just don't mind it. I love it because it's just so clean and beautiful and slightly sweet and like, again, like warm, clean laundry, like clean, warm skin. It's gorgeous. You can usually, this is the best time of year to buy this fragrance too. Um, wait until after Christmas because they always do amazing grace in like gift sets and all this stuff for Christmas. And usually at Ulta after Christmas, you can pick this up for a really good price. I think I got my, I think I got this bottle for, this is a two ounce bottle. I think I got it for 20 bucks after Christmas. And I got it in a set too with, I think with maybe some body wash or something. I can't remember. But anyways, that is the first one. That is Amazing Grace. It's a gorgeous, clean musk. And then the next one that we have is this one here. This is Pure Grace. This is, uh, this is like Amazing Grace, but it's not, it's not really warm smelling for me. This one is more soapy clean. It smells like a bar of white, you know, a, a white bar soap. I love this. It's like clean soap. It has a warmth to it, but it's mostly just from like warming on your skin. But out of the bottle, it just smells very, kind of very slightly sweet, a little bit aromatic. I think this might have some lavender in it. I think it does have some lavender in it. It's just like clean soap. It's stunning. I love it. These are amazing fragrances. I've got the lotion that matches this too. So I love to wear the lotion and then layer this over it. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. So anyways, that is Pure Grace. I love both of those. And like I said, wait until after Christmas and then Ulta usually does really good markdowns on those. Okay, this next one is one that, yeah, this is, this next one I feel like is one that is quite a hidden gem. This fragrance is called Cotton Kiss from Zara. And I just have mine in the rollerball, but this is so beautiful. This is like a sweet skin musk with iris in it. So you get a little bit of this powdery iris on this bed of like sweet skin musk. It is so beautiful. I didn't realize how amazing this was until I found this when I was packing up all of my perfume and I was like, what does this even smell like? I don't even know. Um, I, it was one of those fragrances that I almost didn't even remember I had in my collection and I tested it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so nice. It's like a sweet, clean, slightly powdery iris musk. Oh, it is so, so good. I love it. So anyways, that is Zara Cotton Kiss. Such a good one. Okay, next we've got this here. This is, um, this is Musk Malachi from Swiss Arabian and this is a concentrated perfume oil. Um, this fragrance, Oh my gosh, this is another beautiful, 
warm, kind of slightly sweet, warm skin musk. This one is so amazing. I don't have, well, I've got probably, I've probably got a, a quarter of a bottle of this left. This is amazing for layering. Um, it's just an incredible oil. Oh, I just love it so much. And it's, I need to see if they make a spray perfume of this. I would love a spray perfume of this scent because it is the most beautiful, warm, clean skin musk. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So anyways, that one is called Musk Malachi from um, Swiss Arabian. I do need to see if they make a spray version of that. It would be amazing. Okay, next we've got this one here. This is Amber, Amber Musk from Erin. Oh, this is beautiful. This is like a light, sweet amber. It's got, this one's got a little bit of coconut in it and warm musk. It's like light, sweet amber, a slight bit of coconut and warm skin musk. It's gorgeous. This one you've got to wear in the cold weather though. And even in the cold weather, I, golly, I can get maybe two hours out of it. It's really, really fleeting, but it's one that I've never been able to bring myself to declutter because it just smells incredible oh i love it so much it's probably my favorite Aaron fragrance that i've ever smelled and i have smelled quite a few there's something so special about this one and it's got to do with how light the amber is the way that the coconut is blended with everything and that warm skin musk it's beautiful so anyways that is Aaron amber musk this is one of my comfort scents in my in my collection if i'm ever feeling like down or feeling like I need, you know, just some comfort in my life, this is the fragrance that I gravitate to immediately because it's one of those fragrances that as soon as you spray it on, it, it like gives you a sense of peace. It's so gorgeous. It's so good. So anyways, that is Erin Amber Musk. Okay, next we have got this one here. This is Alyssa Ashley White Musk. I just added this one to my collection. I love this. This is a beautiful, sweet, clean, traditional white musk. It's very skin-like. I love this. I need to try layering this over an oil. I feel like layered over an oil, this would just be amazing. This, for what it is, this is an eau de toilette. This lasts pretty darn well. I can get a good three or four hours out of this before I would need to reapply. Um, and the colder it is, the better it performs. Like the warmer it is, the worse it performs. But the colder it is, the better this one performs. And I just love this. This is your like, get out of the shower, spray it on like a body spray, and you're gonna smell clean and amazing and kind of like the 80s <laughs> for a good few hours. I love it so much. I'm just, I'm such a sucker for a good white musk. It's like, if you like body shops, white musk, um, I think you would really like it. So anyways, that is White Musk from Alyssa Ashley. This next one is, it can really go either way for people. Um, thankfully, I really enjoy this fragrance, but a lot of people do not. This is JLo Glow. I love this. This is a beautiful, warm, clean musk fragrance. Warm, clean, skin-like musk. I need to put this in my project pan because my bottle is quite old. I've had this for a few years now and being a celebrity scent, I just have a feeling that it's not gonna last much longer. I mean, it smells perfectly fine. I love this. The people that don't enjoy this say that it smells like hairspray to them, which I can totally understand. Um, if you don't have skin chemistry that this works with, I can totally see it. I could totally see it going hairspray. Thankfully, that doesn't happen for me though. I adore this. Of all of these fragrances, this is one of the heavier kind of musks, which is what makes me really, really love it because it still smells very clean and skin-like but it's got a heaviness to it, and that's what I love about it. It's stronger, it's got more body to it, it hangs around for a lot longer, and I adore it. In fact, I'm gonna leave this one out and I'm gonna start wearing this. It's gonna live out because I need to get through this one and then just pick up a new bottle of it um, because yeah, mine is super old, but it still smells incredible and I love this one. So anyways, that is JLo Glow. So, this is such an underrated gem in my opinion because I love musk so much. 
So anyways, yeah. Okay, and I did, I am gonna leave out the Liquid Imaginaire Blanche Bet because I've been talking about it a lot recently, so I am not gonna be including that one in this video. If you wanna know about that one, check out my last What I Wore Last Week video. I talked about it pretty extensively in that video. And I also just got a couple of new kind of musk fragrances from Dua, Musk Therapy, and another one that is, that I, feel like is pretty musky. Um, and I didn't want to include those because I haven't tested them. I haven't spent enough time with them to really include them in a video like this. So um, yeah, and those will come up in an in a upcoming What I Wore Last Week video as I wear through those. But anyways, the next musk fragrance we're gonna talk about is this one here from Zara. Sadly, this has been discontinued. I don't know where to tell you to get this, except you would probably have to go to the gray market somewhere, eBay, um, Mercari, some kind of, somewhere like that to pick this up. This is the MSK 004 NTL Eau de Parfum from Zara. Um, this is amazing. This is candied almonds and musk, basically. It's like a beautiful, clean, sweet white musk, but with this gorgeous, sweet, powdery, but slight powdery. It's not like a powder bomb. It's a really beautiful, delicate, powdery candied almond note. Oh, it is so good. I'm really, really sparing with this fragrance because it has been discontinued and you can't find it. I don't wear this one a whole ton. Like it doesn't live out like my other ones just because I can't, like I won't let myself run through this bottle because this is an amazing fragrance. This is one of the best fragrances that Zara has ever, ever done in my opinion. Yeah, this is hands down in the top three best fragrances Zara has ever done and I hate that they discontinue. I feel like Zara discontinues all of the best perfumes, um, but thank goodness I've got a bottle of this, which makes me so happy. But anyways, yeah, this is a beautiful gourmand leading musk and it is stunning. So that is MSK 004 NTL from Zara. Okay, next we've got good old Jovan musk. I need to pick up the oil. That is on my priority list right now is to pick up the oil to layer under this. Um, I am so obsessed with this. I think because it's so nostalgic smelling for me. And I've been, I would say for the last couple of years, I have been kind of obsessed with the 80s in my mind. Um, just because it takes me back to such a much more simple time. Um, life was so much better back in the 80s when I was a child. So for the past couple of years, I've been listening to mostly like 80s music. I love nostalgic like 80s smelling fragrances. I've always been a vintage lover, don't get me wrong, but in the last couple of years, it's just been like even more so. I've just been really, really obsessed with 80s smelling fragrances. And this is like 80s, the 80s in a bottle for me. It reminds me of my childhood. It like takes me back. And it's something that is still, that still smells so good even today that I can feel comfortable wearing this. Like there are a lot of fragrances I wouldn't feel comfortable that I adore the way that they smell, but I wouldn't want to like smell like that every single day. I love poison, but I don't want to smell like poison every day. Um, I love opium, like the original formulation of opium, but I don't want to smell like that every day. But something like Javon Musk, this thing has really stood the test of time. And this is one that lives out that I wear at least once a week um, because I love it and it brings me such joy. And it's such a beautiful, clean, simple, warm musk scent. I love it. It is on my priority list to get the oil to layer under this. Everybody says that the oil is amazing. And yes, I will be getting that. And I wanna get the Alyssa Ashley White Musk Oil to layer under it, that one as well. Um, I just love these, I don't know. There's something about the nostalgia, the cleanliness of them, the simplicity of them that I just adore. Especially this one, there's something about this one that smells really, really classy to me. It just smells, I don't know, clean and beautiful, and I love it.
I love the warmth of this one. This is, I don't know, and it's really, really unique. It's a really unique, clean skin mask. There's something about it that's just amazing. I love it so, so much. I mean, all of my musk, like all of my musk fragrances are all totally different. None of them really smell like each other. This one, there's something about this one though that is, oh, it's just so, so good. And you can use this to layer anything over, like literally anything layers over it beautifully. But it's incredible on its own. Oh, I just love it so much. And again, these are so incredibly affordable. I think these ones are maybe $13 a piece. Um, but this is like a big rollerball. I think this is 10 mil of oil. I think it's 10 mil, it might be five mil. It doesn't say, but it's a lot of oil. Like this will last you a long time. You can also get a spray perfume that matches it. So if you want to layer, ugh, it'd be so good. So anyways, that one is called Smells Like a Stero. It's so amazing. And that is going to be it, guys. Those are all of the musk fragrances that I've got out in my collection right now. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in my next one.